As we all know, disaster can strike at any given moment. Now the Pasadena Fire Department officials say they have a way for you to stay aware of information you need to access quickly. It's called Please. The Pasadena Fire Department's James Weckerly is here live to tell us more. Thanks for going on camera with us, James. Oh, my pleasure. Did I say your last name right? Absolutely. Okay, good. <laughs> I just wanted to double check on that. So can you give us an idea of what PLEASE stands for? PLEASE is the Pasadena Local Emergency Alert System. Everyone should be familiar with the federal government's emergency alert system, so we chose to capitalize on that, um, but emphasize the fact that it's, it's local and it's only for Pasadena. Okay. So. Well, I do want to do kind of a live demonstration sure. here, if we can. Um, we'll see if it translates to the screen, what I'm trying to do here. Um, how can people access it? First, the, they got to go... The where? best way to do it, so that you don't have to really memorize anything or think about it, is to start off at the city's homepage, okay. www.cityofpasadena.net. Okay, good. And then from there, in, uh, there we in are. the center column, FYI Pasadena, we'll always have a, a disaster preparedness link. It, seems to be the third one down now. It moves up and down a little bit, okay. but it's always in that section. That's going to take you to our disaster preparedness homepage. Great information if you need to refresh your disaster preparedness information. Okay, there we are. Right at the top is emergency notifications, please. Okay. So go ahead so, and click on that. Right. There's a brief little des description. And if you uh, go to the bottom of that paragraph, there's a, a link that'll take you on to the next page. Uh, this right one there. right here, right? Okay. There we go. And as it loads up, this will be the Please home page, which okay. gives you all sorts of information about the, the, the program and, and what, we're, what we're trying to accomplish with it. Okay. But right at the very top, just under where it says Pasadena Local Emergency Alert System, there's mm -hmm. a self-registration link. Okay. Click on that and it'll, it'll jump us right over to the self-registration page. Okay. We went to the self-registration portal so that people could register their cell phones, their voice over internet providers, their emails, Prior to that, all we had were, were the AT&T and Verizon landlines. Okay. So the lawyers make us put some terms and conditions on here. <laughs> so you have to agree because if you don't, then uh, you can't do it. Absolutely. But it's just basically saying that, you know, it, it, it may not always work 100%, right? Right. We always, we always uh, uh, encourage people to use multiple means of, of getting information during disasters. Um, we also tell you up front that if you're registering and you're not in Pasadena, we're not going to call you and you can only register your own information. Okay, so it has to be 626 area. Oh, but well, you have to give your address and, and all of that in order for it to, to show that you live in Pasadena. Right. Now, let's talk about, because there are some folks out there that are like, man, I don't know if I want the government having my cell phone number, having my email address and all of that. Well, you can talk to some of the other members of, of the city government. I'm pretty much a Nazi when it comes to the use of this system. Okay, uh, why is that? I firmly believe that if you're gonna trust us with your information, we need to safeguard it and we need to keep it uh, for only the purposes that you gave it to us. So okay. if you say, I only wanna receive red flag parking restriction notifications, other than disaster notifications, those are the only non-emergency notifications that you're gonna get from, from our system. Now, how come like the cell phone and all that? Because I think with the, um, I know with the police department's Nixle program, I think they just ask for your email address, and then I'm not sure that they ask for the cell phone. You can and all of that. you can give cell phone. You can you can choose not to give cell phone. Same with our system. You need to give us one email address, and you need to give us one phone number. What you want to do beyond that is up to you. Got it. Again, we're putting the notifications outside of the disaster notifications. We're putting, okay. putting the notifications you want in your hands. Okay, so you get to kind of customize it Correct. and um, uh, have it work for you however you want. Um, so you, people don't have to worry that the numbers will be used for something else to be spot on or anything like that, right? Absolutely not, <laughs> okay. absolutely not. Okay, um, on a scale of one to 10, how easy do you think this would be for people to, to do? I would say, you know, one being very easy, it's yeah. probably a three or a four. If okay. you can register for an online email account or if you can send flowers to your mom <laughs> o over over the internet, uh, this will be a piece of cake. The, okay. re the registration should look pretty pretty straightforward. Good. So what constitutes as a disaster that people will get notified for? Well, you know, your standard disasters or emergencies are, are you know, things like earthquakes, floods, fires, of course. And what um, kind of could, things would could you be a, Could be a hostage situation, oh, yeah. um, could be a missing child. Mm -hmm. 
um, all of those things would, would qualify as an emergency notification. Okay. And depending on what the, what the uh, incident is, we'll provide information that's, that's appropriate to that. So if it's, if it's a hazardous materials incident, it may be evacuation information. Got it. Um, if it's a fire and we're asking you to evacuate, we may be sending you an, an additional update of where the shelters are. Oh, that makes um, sense. Those makes kinds of things. Sense. Okay. Well, thank you very much. It looks very easy to me, and I think if I could work my way through it here, just about anybody can. Uh, we, <laughs> we certainly hope so. Okay, good. And people can just go to citypasadena.net slash fire slash P-L-E-A-S please. <laughs> or if they forget all that, they can go to the city's homepage and follow the disaster exactly. preparedness links in. Perfect. Thank you so much, James. I My appreciate pleasure. it. Great having you here. Thank you. All right. More news ahead. The CCN Tech Bite with teen techie Grander Darian and a local mission celebrates a major birthday when we come back. You're watching CCN Crown City News, your news, your neighborhood. We'll be right back. <laughs>